the lost word. All right, this is the end of the natural law segment, and I'm just going to talk about solutions toward the end a little bit. All right, the lost word. It's a concept in esoteric Freemasonry, which represents a state of consciousness that has been largely, quote-unquote, lost to the majority of human beings. In order to speak the, quote-unquote, lost word, a human being must work upon themselves in order to achieve a state of equilibrium or balance between the left and right hemispheres of the brain. In such a state of balanced consciousness, the being has come to know oneself, as well as the working operations of the macrocosm, meaning natural law. In doing so, that person has also come to understand the objective difference between right and wrong, or as these concepts are referred to in the tradition of Freemasonry, they have come to understand the difference between light, which is right, and darkness, which is wrong, or light, which is knowledge of right and wrong, and darkness, which is ignorance of right and wrong, respectively. All right? What is the lost word, though? That's the lost word, ladies and gentlemen. You, you know the knowledge of the highest levels of Freemasonry now. Most actual Freemasons in the lodge system don't know the lost word. The lost word is no. And I would suggest to you, it is a dual word. The lost word is dual, meaning it, it's two things. It's not just one. It is the word no, N-O, and it is the word no, K-N-O-W. Those are the lost words, okay? In the enlightened state of consciousness generated through the knowledge of natural law, a human being is finally able to speak the so-called lost word, which is no. No is the word of all power. Only when we say no to those who would claim to be our owners, those who would claim that it is they who will decide which rights we have or do not have, do we stop externalizing our power to anyone outside of ourselves and in doing so reclaim all of our rights, all of our property that has been taken without right. Sadly, very, very few people in our world have the knowledge, care, and courage that is required to do this. This is why this all-powerful word is considered lost. And there's the other variant of the lost word. Know. Know your rights. The reason you have to know what the difference between right and wrong is, and therefore know what rights you have and what rights you do not have, is because those who do not know those things will never say the lost word to someone who claims to be their owner. They will not say no and oh. 